Leave. Tonight, a who done it in cyberspace? Online attacks that blocked some popular websites for millions of uh, users. Here's a look at some of the major areas that were affected. It started on the East Coast and made its way west. The attack left Twitter, Netflix, and other popular websites at a standstill this morning. Nine on your side's Jennifer Martinez has more on what actually happened. From the east to the west, the internet was at a major halt Friday morning, targeting DYN, an internet traffic company. The company coming out and saying this attack was well planned and sophisticated, so here's how it happened. What Domain Name Services does is it actually translates the name of a domain or the, a website into a numeric value so that you can connect to it. Scott Green, executive officer with Evidence Solutions, tells me it happened by Internet of Things, such as baby monitors, cameras, garage doors, toasters, the list goes on. What's happened is that if these devices are not secured properly, then they can be hacked. These devices in general are set up, they're brought into a home, they're plugged into the network, and everybody just lets them be as they are as they come out of the box. What you really need to do is secure them before you actually allow them onto your network. Because those devices are out of the box and plugged into a network with default usernames and passwords, it was an easy get for hackers. And because there was heavy traffic, users just couldn't get onto those sites. And when you have that much traffic, the website and the services just can't handle it. And so those of us who legitimately try to connect to these services cannot. The attack stopped access to websites such as Twitter, Amazon, Spotify, Etsy, and more. What it was trying to do is actually prevent companies from Am like Amazon from actually being able to be connected to by their clients, the people who want to buy something. And Green also adds that credit cards did not get hacked, but it is important that you check your statements daily because you just never know. Back to you, Whitney.